Hey, it's Jim. It's uh, Sunday, April 30th. A um, little different uh, project than usual. I've got a uh, 2010 Hoosberg. It's like a Husqvarna or a KTM uh, street legal enduro dirt bike. Um, having a little issue here with the uh, fuel injector. It's fuel injected bike. So... Uh, I just uh, bought an ultrasonic cleaner. Um, for me up here in Canada, um, a new injector is close to 300 bucks through the dealership. So uh, I wanted to clean this one up so that I could avoid uh, having to put a bunch of money out for something like that that should be uh, more of a maintenance item. Um, disassembled the bike myself and uh, everything so anyways um, with these it actually takes power to actuate the solenoid to let the um, pressurized fuel uh, out the nozzle or the injector um, these run a really fine filter um, I believe it's somewhere between 10 to 20,000 micron, so super tiny. Um, it's one of the problems that these bikes um, had when they first kind of were introduced. They would end up running lean uh, if the injector did start to get plugged because you weren't getting enough fuel in with the... Uh, air fuel mixture ratio so uh, they would end up running really hot um, kind of lack on power and uh, have some other issues that uh, <clears throat> they wouldn't like to uh, restart when they were hot things like that so anyways um yeah so one of the things that uh, you need to allow the solenoid to work is some power. Um, I uh, watched some videos on this and uh, saw a few guys with some pretty interesting equipment. Um, but basically I ended up uh, also foregoing investing in that equipment and uh, rigged up my own. So, um, I had a uh, connector off a uh, battery-powered power saw that uh, had a bunch of other issues, so I uh, robbed that part out of my parts bin. It, uh, it does fit what I need it to here. And then uh, this would normally be a 12-volt, but uh, a 9-volt battery. I'll just let you listen here. We'll, we'll allow it to actuate. Okay, so you can hear it. You can hear it there. When I uh, close the circuit on the battery, like I said, it's nothing fancy, but it didn't need to be. Um, I actually shot a video of this when I had the <coughs> ultrasonic uh, cleaner running but um, because of the buzzing or hum of the unit when it's on it was uh, it, it, all my camera or phone ended up picking up was that hum I'll just uh, turn it on briefly here and you can hear it but basically what it does is it agitates and makes a bunch of little bubbles and gets into everything but for it to actually clean the injector you have to cycle that solenoid to open and let it kind of um, pulsate through there open and close open and close if you were to just run this with power to it the whole time it would apparently burn the solenoid out so then i'd be out my 300 bucks anyways so uh had to pulsate that a bit and uh, I'll just let you hear what it sounds like when it's running. 
Everything from China has a switch on the back instead of on the front. When I tried to uh, record, it ended up just uh, overwhelming the phone with that buzzing. So the comments I was making, uh, uh, you wouldn't be able to hear them. So anyways, um, I'll just show you what, what else I did. So um, these come with a basket for your parts to go in. I um, had run just dish soap and water in there. This one has a heating option as well, so you can get it uh, fairly hot. It's uh, not quite boiling, but close. Um, in an effort to reduce the amount of actual injector cleaner product that I was gonna use, I uh, used this uh, recycled soup can and uh, filled it with the uh, I don't know what would it be about half a cup quarter cup um, of the injector cleaner and then uh, I was able to reduce the amount of cleaner that I actually had to put in the can and then uh, put this in there so that way I wasn't uh, using three or four cups worth of uh, product and then uh, submerge that in there with with it in there and the um, injector cleaner in here it uh, didn't float and then while it was in there I just uh, sat here with the battery and uh, went across um, the post so that uh, I could listen to it and actually feel it clicking like that and um, had good success when I was done so um, I've got a little video of that part of it as well so I'll uh, include that in there um, I actually uh, was on messenger with a friend of mine from uh, Estonia um, he's kind of a wizard with uh, dirt bike and dual sport and uh, other other bikes so uh, he helped me out a bit and then uh, there's a guy on uh, YouTube uh, goes by Ali Mac and um, he'd done something similar although like I said uh, his equipment was far better than mine but I kind of got the gist of what he was doing from his video so uh, I'll give you the poor man's version and uh, you can uh, hopefully benefit from that pretty sure that uh, the still 500i chainsaws are going to be uh, a good candidate for this type of stuff once they get a little bit of time on them. Um, chainsaws and guys that run them um, are not real familiar with uh, how how clean you need to keep your fuel normally. So uh, I can see that uh, that will be something that comes up. And for any of you guys with those saws, um, yeah, pay attention to it because uh, you'll end up with a, a lean seas if those injectors uh, do end up getting plugged. So you want to really keep up on uh, especially your fuel filters and trying to keep your fuel clean. Okay, have a good one. <clears throat> hey, it's Jim again. This is uh, after the... Uh, cleaning process i'll just uh hopefully the light's going to be good enough to show you what's going on here so um i just filled this tube with uh the same injector cleaner that i uh used in the ultrasonic bath there with this um and then uh, again, just uh, using the nine volt battery to uh, activate the solenoid to open it up. And um, yeah, sorry, I think I lost you here now. Maybe a worse angle than I was on. Um, 
glad to have that here. There it is. So anyways, uh, as you can see, once the battery is uh, connected with a little bit of air pressure or pressure uh, on that fluid, it um, definitely is uh, open now. Before, I was almost getting nothing, so yeah, that worked good. To thank uh, my friend Addy over in Estonia, as well as uh, a guy named Alan Mack that uh, is on YouTube. So anyway, take care. It's my improvised means here, but I've got better things to spend my money on than a bunch of fancy stuff and just got her.